thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here at Peninsula High where you will meet the 2018 Ladies Varsity Basketball Team. And you might be surprised on what they have to say. Tell us a little bit about the team this year first. Um, we, you know, we're kind of a mix this year. We have, uh, you know, half of them are underclassmen and the other half are upperclassmen. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely like a mix. We have three freshmen this year, which is um, a, lot of, a lot of younger players. So. so when you have a nice mix like that, though, what do you think that the younger players learn most from the veterans? Um, you know, well, I guess my hope is that they learn, um, you know, the leadership qualities that the veterans have. I mean, I have two um, solid captains this year that um, played on my team last year and uh, the year before, and then one of them is a four-year varsity player. Um, so, you know, I have solid leadership from them. They, they've been there, and they kind of know, and they, they're also very um, very nurturing, like my team, and they do look out for the younger ones, which is great because, you know, they, they, need, they need help at, when, you know, being young, and um, it's good that I have upperclassmen that are looking out for the younger ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then, um, do a lot of the girls play other sports as well, or are they pretty much just basketball? Um, some of them do. I mean, not like a lot of them, but some of them do. They, you know, and I, I mean, yeah, I encourage them if they want to try other sports. Um, they, maybe like, probably not half of them, but at least, you know, at least a handful of them do. What do you think they learn the most from participating in other sports? Um, you know, they learn the skill, different skills that they don't get here, and then also, you know, they apply the skills that they learn in basketball too to the other sports, which is good. I mean, I always get other coaches that ask me if I have any players that might be interested in playing in spring or fall. And then, what do girls specifically work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, you know, we, you know, I try and keep it you know everything's different so it's like summer we, we mostly play a lot um in the preseason i try and like get in the weight room and and we condition a lot more and then season we're mostly just in the gym and then the same thing with the off season in the spring and then, um what are your expectations for this team this year you know this team um it's actually a very talented team this year but we are um the mix of like the young and the experience with the experience um we're still kind of learning the ropes and so you know, I, um, we definitely have our growing pains right now, but I really think that this team has a great chance to be top top in Bay League, and, you know, the goal is always to go to playoffs. What is the, like, what's the amount of time before the team kind of gels together, do you think? You know, usually, I want to say, I mean, you always hope it's earlier, but um, it's usually, I would say, like, mid, see, like, maybe December. You know, you kind of hope that they start to peak at that point, going, especially as we hit league, as we go into league. Samantha, this is your senior year, and you're back here playing basketball. For people that don't know, tell us a little bit about um, why you chose basketball for your sport first. I started playing when I was about five, I would say. But um, other than basketball, I haven't really tried other sports. So, well, I've tried softball, but that didn't really stick with me as much as basketball did. So I chose basketball. Over. What, do you, what do you think was the difference in, in the reasoning that you stuck with basketball? It, I think it was definitely the competitive aspect. I was always really competitive, even as a kid, which sounds kind of bad, but um, yeah, I was definitely competitive, and I liked um, the team aspect of it also, and I like getting close with like my teammates and stuff like that. You know, that was a, that's kind of a question I was going to ask you eventually. Is um, it seems like you guys have known each other for a long time, and do you do things away from here as well? And what kind of things do you do? Yeah, definitely. Um, for team bonding, we go to team dinners. Sometimes we have team lunches here when we have home games. But um, this year, we have a new thing where before we have a home game here, then um, we'll go to like a restaurant or somebody's house just to have like a little meal before, just to you know get together and hang out and whatnot. Yeah. Very nice. um, tell me a little bit about this team this year. We are. We do actually have six seniors, so we have a lot of older players but um we are unexperienced um most of us have only been to cif once which was last year um and other than that we haven't really been to playoffs so okay. we haven't had much experience what, what do you think it takes maybe to get there again well <laughs> um we definitely need to play with more urgency i think yeah we came off of a tough loss last night um, so I think we definitely need to come out with more intensity and urgency. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes they say that losing motivates. <laughs> Talk about that. Um, yeah. Coach Nat always says you have to hate to lose more than you love to win. So, um, yeah, losing is not fun, and I don't like it at all. <laughs> yeah. So that, that 
encourages a lot of winning, I would have think. Right? Definitely. Emily, you guys have known each other, played together for a little while. Um, tell me a little bit about this team this year. Um, the team this year is really great. I think um, I'm really happy to be on this team. Um, I think there's a lot of talent on this team this year, and I'm really excited about it. And why did you choose basketball for your sport? Um, well, I've played basketball since I was in eighth grade. Um, I like basketball because I like um, the physicality of it. And of course, I like making points and scoring um, and blocking people. <laughs> Did you ever play any other sports? Yeah, I did. I played soccer and I'm also a dancer. What do you think that dance brings to the court? Um, it's supposed to help with my coordination um, and I guess being able to move my feet fast. I don't know if that's really true, but <laughs> yeah. And then from season to season, what do you um, work on to get better at basketball? Um, I work on my layups and the basic skills, especially my left-hand layups and free throws, just basic things that add up in the game. Okay. And then um, what's the messages that the coaches try to kind of drill in your head? Um, they always tell us to put our hands up on defense. Um, and they tell us that, you know, we have a lot of talent on the team this year and that we just have to um, do the things that can help us win. How long before you guys feel like you sort of gel together when the season first starts? Oh, that's a hard question. Um, I think it depends on the season and it depends who's on the team. Um, I wasn't able to go on the trip last year, but um, a lot of people said that they noticed a difference like after the trip that there was a lot of team bonding that happened on it. So, so excited to go this year, yes? Yes, yes. very excited. And then, um, do you have any pregame routines that you do? Um, I talk to my parents a lot. They help me like get in the right mindset and give me some advice for the game, depending on what team we're playing. Um, and I also pray. Tell me, how long have you been playing basketball? Why you chose it for your sport? Um, I've been playing since kindergarten, I think. And I chose basketball because it's been a big thing in my family. And all my siblings played it, my dad played it, so it's just kind of pass along the tradition kind of thing. So. Do they give you a lot of advice, your family? Yeah, especially my dad, since he was the one who played the most. He also played um, high school basketball, so he's the one who coaches me a lot. Wow. So. What kind of advice does he give you that you might not get somewhere else? Um, just fake it till you make it and have fun, compete, so. And then um, tell me a little bit about um, the team this year and just you guys gelling together. Um, team this year, it's, it looks really good. Um, the new players, they're, you know, working hard. And it's just, it looks, it looks really good. I think we're going to have a really good season this year, so. You guys seem to be very close away from basketball as well. What kind of things do you do when you're not playing basketball? Um, mostly eating out and, and <laughs> hanging out at each other's houses, you know, movie nights maybe. So. Okay. And um, that kind of leads me into my last questions. Um, what do you, do you have like a pregame routine that you do? So I have a series of stretches that I do um, in a certain order to just kind of mentally prepare myself and then um, I guess it's kind of like a lucky charm. I always have a pre-rep headband on whenever I play games, so, and that's basically it. Tell me a little bit about the team this year. Um, this year, I think we're on like the younger side, so we're kind of like getting used to playing with each other a little more, and um, yeah, I think it's like a new team, but it's like really fun. What do you work on specifically from one season to the next to get a little better? I like mainly just shooting for me and like looking for my teammates to like teamwork and all. Um, did you ever play any other sports or just basketball? Oh uh, no, I only played basketball. And what got you started in the game? Um, I played because my dad played when he was younger, and so did my brother. So it was kind of just I was thrown into the mix, kind of. Did you, I mean, did, did you look forward to just playing it? Or? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I love basketball. What, what kind of advice did your family give you as far as playing? Um, I think like the big advice was like always play your hardest and like don't give up on like whatever you're doing. Like you make mistakes in basketball, like our coach always says, but like you have to keep playing and like keep playing your game. Do you have a court at home? I do not, no. <laughs> you have to get in all your practice right here. <laughs> yeah, I used to do like club or I had like other clinics where we went to different places, yeah.
And then um, tell me a little bit about the messages that the coach tries to get you guys to buy into. Um, she always says we need to be confident in ourselves no matter what, like whether we make mistakes, like I said before, or like whatever happens on the court, like we always have to be confident in ourselves. Okay. And then um, expectations for this year. I think we have a good season coming up. I hope so. Um, for us, we just need to work on being like confident, like our coach said. And like, I think we have a good, a good season ahead of us. A yeah, lot of positive energy. That's yeah. for sure. Um, and then tell me, would you have a pregame routine that you do? I personally just need to like focus on like the game and the stretches that I do. I don't normally listen to music because it kind of distracts me a little. So I kind of just like take time when I stretch and all. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing since I was five years old. And <laughs> it's funny because my mom told me that I started out in soccer, but then I didn't like it the first day. <laughs> so I ended up switching to basketball. Do you remember playing soccer? <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently I was fast and I was down the court, but I guess I just didn't like it. So, <laughs> so here you are. And I love basketball so much now. What do you think that it is about this sport that you have stuck with it for so many years? Um, well, definitely like the camaraderie and everyone's scoring and it's like you score right away. It's not like soccer. You got to wait for it. You know, it's like instant gratification, but also the friendship that I've made because I've made so many friends through basketball. You know, you guys have known each other for a long time, too. How helpful is that? Because um, the, obviously the, the more you know people, you know where they're going to be on the court and all that kind of stuff. Um, well, I've actually, one of the girls here I've been playing with since I was five, too. And, like, a lot of these girls I've been playing against. So I already know, like, how fast they are. So I know how to time the pass. And I know who our shooters are. So it's definitely been so much easier knowing them. It's amazing. Some of the younger girls in the team, what do they ask the veterans? Um, sometimes it's, like, confidence for them. Because there's new that it's been hard for them because they always, they feel the stress of being a freshman on varsity. And so sometimes it's just comforting them and telling them that it's okay to make mistakes because that's part of basketball. Life. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what's the message that your coach tries to impart on you guys? Um, to always leave everything on the court because, you know, as a senior right now, this is, it could be your last game. So. Are you, what does that feel like from your perspective? It's been really hard because, uh, as uh, you might see, I've injured myself a lot these past few years. So every game for me pretty much could be my last. Yeah. Okay, and then um, tell me, do you have a pregame routine that you do? Um, well, I always kind of just listen to music, make sure that I'm not thinking about the other stresses of life, like high school. And then I think that's why I love basketball so much, just because I can get away from the stresses of life. I've been playing basketball since I was in first grade, and I chose basketball because um, it was just the most fun for me at that age. Did you try other sports? I did play soccer a little bit, but that's it. I just like basketball. What do you think it is about basketball that you liked more than the other sports? Um, I liked basketball. Well, I think I was closer with my team on basketball, so that was a really big influence on me choosing basketball. And, um, yeah, and I liked scoring. So um, on, in soccer, you don't score that much. It's not as exciting to me. Yeah, it's different. Um, what do you work on from season to season to get a little bit better in your own game? Um, I work on like my shot still because you have to keep that up. Um, like if you don't practice it, it you can lose it. You don't use it, you lose it. Um, and then um, uh, on defense, just being more aggressive. Okay. What are the messages that your coach tries to implant in your guys? Uh, my coach always encourages us to play with heart, and um, and then this year a big theme has been um, keeping our hands up on defense. That's important. <laughs> okay. And then uh, tell me, do you have a pregame routine that you do? Um, I don't have a pregame routine. It's just doing my stretches and um, just getting focused. Okay. And then um, I've been playing basketball since kindergarten. Um, I didn't really choose it. My parents kind of had me play it. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> what was it about the game that you stuck with all these years? Um, I don't know. It's fun because you get to meet all these different people and you see everyone get better over time. So that's really fun. And did you ever try any other sports? Um, I played soccer when I was younger, but then that didn't really stick, I guess. So, yeah. 
do it for you, huh? No. Okay. All right. And then from season to season, because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on to get a little better in your own game? Um, well, you're always working on different things. So um, shooting, um, making free throws, stuff like that. Um, you're just always, always doing stuff. What are your expectations for this team this year? Um, I think we'll do really well. I think we can go pretty far. Um, yeah. Okay. And what is the message that your coach tries to get you guys to uh, remember? Um, she always tells us to play hard and uh, be confident when we're playing. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then do you have any um, like pregame routines that you do? Uh, not really. I just focus on the game and get ready for it. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Um, I've been playing basketball since the fourth grade, and um, I really like how it's like a lot of athleticism, and I really like that, so you can kind of combine everything together. Did you ever try any other sports? Yes, I played softball and soccer. Okay. And do you still play them? or? No, I focus on basketball. Okay. From the times that you did play other sports, so what do you think you learned from that that helps you on the court? Um, I think in soccer, um, sort of like running plays and um, just like being able to get open. Okay. And um, what's the message that the coach tries to sort of implant that so you guys will remember it? Um, just ne like don't take thinking to the game. Just um, go in the game and like you know it and you know you know it. So just execute. Don't think about it. Just execute. Okay. And then from season to season, what do you work on specifically in your own game to get a little better? Um, I always work on my jump shot. So that always needs work. This is the first year on this team. Where did you play before? Um, I played at Port of Los Angeles High School um, in San Pedro. Okay. What's it been like being on this team this year? Um, it's a lot different. I like it a lot. It's All the girls are very close, so that makes it a lot better. Um, and then do you have any pregame routines that you do? Um, I always have to listen to music. Any, any particular music or? Um, rap. That always gotta get, that gets me going. <laughs> Uh, I've been playing since I was six in rec leagues. Uh, I chose it for my sport just because my mom liked to watch it, and then she had me play, and I liked it. So, now, did you like? Did you watch it with your mom too? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, what do you think it is about the game um, from season to season that you've done to get a little bit better? Uh, kind of just work on teamwork and passing and stuff, like work in the backyard with my mom, and yeah. Okay. What's it like when you come to a new team? Um, it's hard to get to know the players, but once you do, it's really, really fun, and it's. It's fun. Is, is the bonding pretty immediate? Yeah. Yeah, everybody here is really nice, and they're super welcoming, so it is pretty immediate. That's very cool. And then what are the messages that the coach tries to make sure that you guys buy into? Uh, just that we're a team and that we support each other. Even on the bench, we cheer for each other, and that we're all one like team. We're a family. Okay. How do you sort of balance um, schoolwork with basketball? Is that difficult? or? Uh, not really. It's just like... When I'm in the gym, I just focus on basketball, and then when I'm at home, I get everything done that I need to. Good time management, yes? Yeah. Okay. And then um, tell me, do you have any like pregame routines that you do? I listen to pump-up music, and then in my room, like I have this basketball, and I work on form. Um, I started basketball in fourth grade, like the summer of fourth grade, and I chose basketball because like out of all the different sports I played, I, it just like stuck to me. It was the most interesting and fun. So. What, what other sports did you try? Um, I played tennis for three years, softball for two, and I did track and field for like four years. Now, so do, are you still playing any of those sports or just basketball? Um, not. I, I do compete in track meets once in a while, but I don't like not really. I focus on basketball now. So. Uh, you know, what do you think that you've learned as an athlete um, that you bring to the court having played all those other sports? Um, I think I learned like my heart and hustle from all the other sports, just like trying to move my feet around and do what I'm supposed to do, I guess. So, yeah. From one season to the next, what, do you ha what have you worked on in your own game to get a little better? Um, I've definitely tried to work on my shooting because I normally am used to just like driving in, but in high school basketball, there's a lot of taller players, so you have to be able to shoot as well. Okay. So. Interesting, because you played so many different kinds of sports. Um, what are your expectations for this team this year? Um, this team, we have a really good team this year. I'm really excited for what the season is going to bring. We have like a lot of new players, and yeah, it should be really fun. Okay. And then tell me um, if you have a pregame routine that you do. Um, my pregame routine, I listen to music to try to like get myself in the zone and focus on the game. And yeah, that's about it. Any, 
particular music? Um, I actually listen to like, I don't listen to like hype music. I listen to more calm music to like try to like soothe me so I'm not like nervous before the game. Okay. And then I've been playing basketball since third grade and I don't know, I guess my parents just wanted me to have a chance to play all the sports so they stuck me in basketball and basketball is the one I stuck out with, yeah. What other sports did you try? Oh God, um, so I started with softball and then soccer and then a little bit of volleyball. What do you think it is about basketball that you like the most? Um, I don't know. I like the speed and it's fast paced and it's really exciting. Okay. Yeah. And you guys seem like you're very close off the court. What kind of things do you guys do? Uh, well, we like to eat, so okay. we go out after games, we eat a lot of food. Um, and then sometimes we'll just hang out and this team is very musically gifted, so there's a lot of singing and dancing. Nice. <laughs> who's the best singer on the team? Oh God, um, I'd have to say Naomi. Naomi's a really good singer, yeah. <laughs> Of secrets we didn't know before. <laughs> um, what do you do from season to season to get a little better in your own game? Um, well, I have a basketball hoop in my front yard, so I definitely shoot. Yeah. And then, um, what, what's the message that the coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, she wants us to always work hard and hustle on the floor, and she also just wants us to go out there and have fun competing. Okay. And do you have a pregame routine? Um, I really don't. Sometimes I'll listen to music. Sometimes I'll just sit with the team and just talk. Okay. I've been playing basketball since I was in kindergarten. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a long time. And I chose it. Um, well, I guess I didn't really choose it, but my parents kind of put me into it because um, my sister had done it. And before that, my cousins had done it. Um, but then I kind of just um, love the sport ever since. So, <laughs> you, Knowing that your family had played it, is it something you really wanted to try as well? Yeah, definitely. Like, it was always our family thing, you know? During the weekends, we'd always go to all the games together and support each other. So it's always been kind of a family thing. Okay. And then um, tell me your expectations for this team this year. Um, I think that we can go really far. Uh, I think our team is pretty strong this year. Um, we have a lot of new players, but they're really good. And I feel like our team is really bonded. So hopefully that will play into how we play. And then what's the message that your coach always wants you to remember? Um, just to heart and hustle, I guess. Just always put 100% uh, um, into every game and just like every practice even, you know, always do your best. Okay. And then from season to season, since you've been playing for so long, what do you specifically like to work on in your own game? Um, I like to work on, well, something that I need to work on would be like passes um, and always looking up the court. So I always try to focus on that. Yeah. So. And then, um, do you have a pregame routine that you do before games? Not really. I just like to calm myself down because I do get nervous. Um, sometimes I'll listen to music, but I don't really have any like specific routine that I do. Okay, so I've been playing basketball since I was about four or five, I think. And um, I played because my siblings played. Uh, my entire family has played basketball, so yeah. Did you always want to play watching them play? Um, no, I actually wanted to be a cheerleader, but I just grew out of that. Once I, I did like a camp and being on stage was like not my thing. So I was like, uh, I'll do a team sport. Okay, and what is it about this game that you've sort of fell in love with? Um, I think like the companionship with our team is really fun and I'm really competitive. So competitiveness, yeah. Okay. From season to season, since you've been playing for so long, what do you like to work on in your own game to get a little better? Um, I always need to work on my ball handling. Passing is a big thing, too. And my shooting lately, because, yeah, it's just been off. <laughs> and then, you know, because it's kind of early in the season, how long does it kind of take before you guys feel like you're gelling strongly? Um, this is actually my first year, so I don't know exactly, but for, I think, I think we're pretty gel. There's just a little more, a few more games would be good. Okay. Yeah. And then um, tell me, is there, do you have like a pregame routine that you do? Um, it's inconsistent, but I usually like to just like get in my head space, focus, think about what I have to do in the, during the game. Um, sometimes music, help, music helps, sometimes it doesn't. I've been playing basketball for about 10 years and my whole family has been playing basketball, so I thought I'd just like play basketball, I guess. What is it about the game um, over the years that sort of made you stick with it, do you think? Um, I think it's like the friendships you make and like all the memories that you make with your team. What's the messages that the coaches always want you guys to remember? Um, just to play hard and never give up, even if you're losing. 
you played for a really long time. What do you like to work on from season to season to get a little better in your own game? Um, probably my shooting form and dribbling. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I tried softball for a year, but it didn't work out because <laughs> so I wasn't good at it. Okay. Better at this game, right? Yeah. Okay. And then um, tell me, do you have any pregame routines that you do? Um, I usually don't listen to music and I don't drink a lot of water during the game. And what do you think they're hungry for after a lot of basketball? After? Well, if we win, Coach and I, we always have like extra pizza sometimes from the snack bar. So I'll usually eat some pizza and a lot of junk food, which is bad, but oh, anything. <laughs> I'm always really hungry after a game. <laughs> to be honest, anything, anything I can reach for. <laughs> anything. Like I'm anything like if you give me food I'll eat it <laughs> it honestly doesn't matter like because I always don't feel hungry right away but then I start to eat and then I'm hungry <laughs> it's the weirdest thing ever I do like a warm meal afterwards anything <laughs> pretty much anything sort of depends if it's a good game maybe in and out if it's a bad game maybe eggs after anything just any food <laughs> anything any favorites or uh, I love Chick-fil-A. Okay. After the game, I'll eat just about anything. I feel like I'm more worried about what I'm eating before the game. <laughs> but Honestly, I like to eat anything. <laughs> I don't know, I like dessert. <laughs> I do get pretty hungry after games. Yeah. Um, so, mm, I'm not that picky, so I guess just anything that fills me up. <laughs> I really like to drink chocolate milk. It like recuperates my body, so. I don't know, like ramen. <laughs> And that will do it for today's show. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field, Local Edition.